Okay, so uh, we've got two little questions here. Uh, firstly, to find the equation of the line that is parallel to the line 3x plus 2y plus 7 equals 0, passing through the point minus 2, 4. Okay, so first of all, starting off with the 3x plus 2y plus 7 equals 0, what I need is the gradient of this line. The only way I can get that is by re um, reorganising it into y equals mx plus c. So, if I subtract the 3x and the 7 from both sides, I can get that. Then dividing through by 2, I'm going to get minus 3 halves, x minus 7 halves. Now the minus 7 halves I don't really need. All I really need is that minus 3 halves. Because I know that the line that I need is parallel to this one, and so has the gradient of minus 3 halves. But it's going through minus 2, 4. So I can then say, well, y minus 4 is equal to minus 3 halves x plus 2, using the y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 formula. Now with this, what I can say is that if I multiply out that bracket, I get minus 3 halves x minus 3, because 2 lots of minus 3 halves is minus 3. Then add the 4 to both sides. And there is the answer I want. That is the equation of the line that's parallel to 3x plus 2y plus 7 equals 0, but going through minus 2, 4. So for number 2, because I need a line that is perpendicular to the line 3x plus 4y equals 5, passing through 3 minus 2, if I start off with that 3x plus 4y equals 5, I want to rearrange it to get y equals... So subtract the 3x from both sides, and then divide both sides by 4. Now it's this minus 3 quarters I'm interested in, not the 5 quarters. I just want the gradient here. But I want the line that I'm getting to be perpendicular to this one. And so it must have the same, uh, the gradient that is the negative reciprocal of minus 3 quarters. So that would be 4 thirds. So if it's going through 3, 2, then y plus 2 must be equal to 4 thirds x minus 3. So if I expand that bracket, I get 4, sorry, 4 thirds x minus 4. 4 thirds times minus 3 is minus 4. Then take the 2 from both sides. And that is the equation that I wanted. Okay? So that's how we can utilise our understanding of parallel and perpendicular to answer problems of this nature.